months ago, Detective Andrew Finn went down, got himself too deep with the local operation, and they didn't appreciate the attention, neither did their associates, the butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker, <laughs> pretty much everyone in the city. He went on a lousy line, something about tax fraud, it didn't really matter. He just wanted them down, figured he had more on the inside. He did, took a bullet from a ghost named Helm that nobody's seen since. Just so happens Finn was my old man. Six AM yesterday morning. Ben Judd, just another officer on the beat. The corpse was dumped in a little patch of forest just outside the city. He was my inn. A chance to finish what the old man started. I need to see a guy. This is Radar. He knows things. Been my second pair of ears for a while now. And when I need him, I asked what was flowing about the Judd murder and he said he didn't know. He said things have been quiet. It was the same every time, like a sacred ritual. We negotiated. Radar told me a tale. It started a book he called Stravinsky, whose numbers didn't quite add up. He gave the best odds in town, but no one had ever come out good over him. It was a talent. A gift from the Lord, they said, but they never looked further than that. We needed words. Stravinsky broke. At first he climbed up real tight, but once I showed him my badge, well, he loosened up pretty good. Judd was a big gambler, he said. Last week the guy put up three grand, not that little bonus for looking the other way. Of course, Stravinsky never loses, so Judd gets real pissed, roughed him up and starts dropping some pretty heavy names. That's what got him killed. Stravinsky got all his tips from the big boys themselves. They fixed the fights and he took the bets. He spilled an address. It was right on the edge of town. It seemed real cozy, so I decided to bring an old friend. When I came to, she was just standing there, staring like she'd never seen a half-dead Seamus before. I thanked her for the lumps and asked just who in the name of Raymond fucking Chandler she thought she was to give me the eye like that. She said she could have asked me the same question. How goddamn stupid did I have to be to turn up blind to a place like that? I told her she hadn't seen anything yet. She told me not to be such an ass and that she was only repaying an old debt. She know my old man. She said she didn't want to see another Finn go down because it got in too deep. Seems I was lucky Stravinsky ratted me out to her instead of anyone else. I told her thanks for the concern, but when was she thinking of taking off the cuffs? She just laughed, a smile like a winning hand. Real cute.
wasn't difficult to find. I drove till morning, somewhere for a nice heart to heart. Asked him for one good reason, so he gave me ten. It would be enough to sink the whole damn ship. All I needed was his testimony. She said she was sorry. Said business is business. I didn't need her sympathy. I didn't regret a damn.